Hello, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use tabbed app bars in Flutter. So this is the demo of the app that we are going to build. Here we will have six tabs and the content of just an icon and a text. Okay, so as usual, I'll be starting with an empty template and I will have just a container with a white background. So first thing we have to do is we have to create a model class which I am naming it choice and the choice class will have a title and icon data icon and let's create the constructor the choice which will accept the title and the icon okay now we will create a list of choices so those will be our tabs so list of choice choices is equal to a choice array so here we will add some dummy values so the first one is uh, with a title car and i can directions car let's duplicate that and second one is bicycle directions bike third one is bus fourth one train and fifth one walk let's change cycles as well railway and walk okay now let's create the uh, tab content so for that we are going to create a new class choice page which will extend a stateless widget we don't have a state in this class so now we will uh, create the constructor constructor will have the key and the choice parameter so this dot choice now we have to create the variable choice so call the super as well with a key now we will declare the choice variable choice choice all right now we are going to create the ui for the tab so all right the build method and uh, first thing we are going to create is a textile so textile and variable name will be textile is equal to and uh, now we are going to get the inherited widget theme dot of context uh, dot text theme dot display one so that is the input theme so um, we are going to return a card and card will have a color of white and the child will be a center widget which will have a column widget I am going to centralize the content so main exercise will be minimum and process cross axis alignment center all right now we will add the children so those uh, the children is a list of widget so the first one is an icon and the icon data is choice dot icon and the size let's set it to 150 uh, actually there is some error i think i forgot the comma okay comma size 150 now we will set the color of the icon the same color as the text so textile dot color all right now we will add the text with the value choice dot title and the style will be textile okay save it 
Okay, now we have our tab bar. And the tab bar content. Now let's go to the main UI and remove the container. And let's add a material app. Now that will have a home property so that we will set it to a default tab bar controller, default tab controller uh, with the length of uh, the number of choices we have. And uh, the next property we are going to set is a child. The child, uh, we will add a scaffold. With the app bar, so uh, add the app bar widget with the title. Let's give some title like a uh, tab app bar, and the bottom will be a tab bar, which is actually we are going to set it to scrollable. Add the number of tabs. Uh, we'll add the tabs now. So that will accept a list of widgets. So choices dot map. So that will return a choice. Okay. So pass the uh, choice. And don't forget to convert that to a list because it is expecting a list of widgets and return a tab and the title sorry the text will be choice or title and the icon will be uh, sorry icon choice dot icon Now we have the tabs in the UI. Now let's add the content for each tab. For that, uh, we will add the body property of the scaffold and add the tab bar view. So, similarly to the tab bar, we will add the list of children. So, that will be choices.map. And that will have the choice object choice so convert that to list and let's add the choice parameter okay and it should return the content for the uh, tab so add the padding so I'm going to give a padding of, uh, let's say, adding sets dot add dot all with a value of 20. And the child will be our choice page, which we created for the content of the tabs and passing the choice. All right. So there we have our tabs. Let's uh, scroll through the tabs. Let's try by adding one more item to the tabs. Copy that. Let's add both. And the change and change icon as well to both. Okay. Save it. Okay. Got it. Now we have the board. Let's click on that. All right. Something is wrong. The tab content is not loading for both. So let's try restarting the app. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Now it's loading. Perfect. 
So that's how you create a tab that bar in Flutter. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.